Hello, today we'll be discussing how to correctly use the clapperboard for slating and syncing in British film. The clapperboard should clearly label production name, scene number, camera operator, director, and date. The slate number should begin at 1 and increment each time the camera position or lens is changed. The take number should also follow this rule, incrementing each time the camera stops rolling and resetting whenever the slate number changes. When filled out correctly, the clapperboard should be placed in frame and in focus. If the clapperboard is out of focus, out of frame, or otherwise illegible, the DIT or editor will lack the necessary visual cue used for syncing. When positioned correctly, sound and camera will begin rolling and the slate and take numbers will be announced, followed by a clean, sharp clap for the DIT or editor to sync. Slate three, take one. and action. For pickup shots, in which action begins part way through, the take number will increase, with PU appended to the number. Slate 3, take 2, pick up. And action. If no sound is being recorded, the clapper loader should signify this as mute of sound, holding the board long enough for the editor to read and with fingers between the sticks. Finally, if impractical or inconvenient to shoot the slate at the start of a take, the camera operator will request an end board. Here, the clapper loader will mark the take at the end instead of at the start, holding the board upside down and announcing it as an end board. Slate 5, take 1, end board. That concludes this video tutorial on basic clapperboarding conventions. Thank you for listening.